Welcome to our video series where we are going through the CAT or Computer Application Technology PRAC exam paper one from the June Supplementary 2024 paper and this is for grade 12 so it's a good paper to practice on before your final exam. So this is the second video so we're going to do our second word question and just a reminder that the video description has links to the data files and to the question paper so I strongly suggest that you go and try out the question paper take notes of which questions you struggle with or unsure about and then come back to the video and watch those particular questions so let's get stuck into question two then so as we said we're back into word processing for question two we've got the to adoption data file open already over here so let's start with 2.1 change the top margin to two centimeters and change the gutter position to left now that's the page layout detail so we're going to come here to the layout of the page and we're going to come to the margins but just to make sure that i get all of the details because there's gutter and all that i'm going to go here to custom margins so that i can see things like the gutter and so on so if you remember correctly they said the top margin must be two centimeters so i'm going to make that to, to a two so it's two at the top and the gutter position must be to the beyonce i mean to the left to the left so we come here to the gutter position and there you can see that it's at the top so we're going to change it to the beyonce to the left to the left and there we go and i'm happy with that i'm gonna click ok and there we go let's move on to 2.2 insert automatic page numbering in the foot of the document so that we use the outline circle format the odd page numbers must appear on the Beyonce side or the left side and the even numbers must appear on the right side. So when we've got odd and even pages, what I try to do is I try to set that setting first before I start inserting anything into the footers. So remember we are dealing with the footer here. So I'm going to come here and we're going to go into the header and the footer. You can double click at the top here or you can go insert header and footer and you can go that way. And we can go edit the footer for example and now we are in the footer so when we are here before i do anything i want to make sure that my odd and even pages are different so i'm going to click on that button so that when we do stuff yeah we know that we are in an odd page now if you remember odd pages we should appear on the left hand side so we want the outline circle on the beyonce side so what is outline circle so we're going to come here to page number i'm looking we're going to insert at the bottom of the page on the left hand side we're looking for outline circle so let's scroll till we see something that says outline circle now there's circle maybe there's a different one called oh yes outline circle there we go so here's outline circle we want it on the left hand side for the odd numbers so i click on that so there you can see it's on the beyonce on the odd pages but if i scroll down to the even page there's nothing because in the even we're going to do the exact same thing bottom of the page we're going to find that outline circle there it is but we want it on the right hand side so i'm going to put it over there so there you can see on even pages the outline circles on the right and on odd pages it's on the beyonce i mean to the left to the left so there we go so that's how we're going to get our three marks let's just click away so we can get away from the head and footer so there we go then 2.3 use a word processing feature to replace the word endangered with a word that has a similar meaning now you might think this is find and replace but we just did a find and replace in the previous question so it can't be that endangered word where where's this word endangered there let's scroll up we're going to find the word endangered there it is there's the word endangered we want to replace that word with a different word and they say with a word they take note it's, it's a, they say the word there so that we only want one word not two so let's when in doubt right click and we're going to go to synonyms this is the synonyms where we can find other words and there you can see a whole bunch of options available that we can have this is the dinosaur the thesaurus i call it the dinosaur where we find other words that are similar to endangered so if we come here we're going to find um maybe we want the word endangered we want rare or threatened just take note if you do go to the, the actual thesaurus you can actually find the antonym which is the opposite of a word so if they ever ask you to find the opposite of a word then you go into the thesaurus and you can find the antonym which is the opposite i'm just going to stick to the threatened option i like that one so i'm going to use that and click on that and go, yeah, change it to threatened so we're going to click on there and say insert that and there is my threatened word you could have also just gone to synonym and then clicked on threatened and it would have done the change for you as well both of them are correct so that's how we change the word that's great now we're going to go to 2.4 find the word list and apply a drop cap in the margin at 0.5 centimeters from the text so it's a drop cap take note it appears in the margin remember they don't put words in unless they are there for a reason so we want in the margin and 0.5 from the text 
So there's the word list. So we're going to click on list and we're going to insert a drop cap. If I come over here, I scroll all the way. There's drop cap and I want specific options. So I'm going to click here to drop cap options. We want it. We said in the margin and we want the distance from the text to be 0.5. So there we're going to change that to a 0.5. See how we have access to all these options and I click OK. It doesn't say anything about the number of lines. You just leave it as default. See, so applied it to the whole word. So they did say the whole word. I don't know if they wanted just the first letter, um, but they didn't say the first letter. So I mean, let's just leave it like that. I'm happy with that. They didn't give me a diagram. To it. They just said, use the word list. So I'm doing it to the whole word. Then 2.5, find the list below the heading type of adoption sets. Let's scroll down. There we are. We're there. And change the list to a multi-level list as shown. So let's look at this list. So we've got a multi-level list. So there's nothing in the first bit. And then we've got a one, two, three. It just seems to be normal numbering. I don't know if the first and the second and the third is a type of numbering. Maybe it is. Let's have a look. So we've got the, so we want that bullet to be first, second, third. And then we want those diamonds to appear as a one, two, three. Okay. So we're going to first select all the text, select all of it. So we select all of it up until there, I would assume. And we're going to come here to home and we're going to come here to a multi-level list. We're going to define a new one. And we want our level one, if you remember, our level one needs to be first, second, third. Now, is there an option for that? So we don't want this circle. We want like, ooh, first, second, third. Now, there's first, second, third, but it says the word first. I want the number one. There's first, second, third. So I want that. I think that's what they wanted originally, first, second, third. So there we've got that option. I'm happy with that as my level one. And then my level two is going to be just the plain number so we're just going to go to whatever the number is for this level so just a one two three so that's the number for the style there's no dots no nothing like that now i just took note here if you look at the They've put the ruler here, and that's for a reason. They would not put the ruler there unless there's a reason for it. And they're probably trying to tell us something about something over here. Now, do you see here, there is almost like an indent at one centimeter, which I'm assuming is for the first bullet. So over here, do you see how this text over here is at one centimeter? So that's applying to level one, if I remember. So if I look here, let's go back to one text is indented at one centimeter they they do not do this unless there's a reason so there's definitely something at one so that's an indent at one so let's try that and i think there we go we, we've got the same layout there i'm happy with that and there we've got our values and so on so i think that is correct i think i'm happy with that okay so we've made it exactly like it is. so just be aware of things like this. When they put the ruler in, there's a reason for that. It's three marks. I was changing that. I was changing that. Why would there be a third mark? And that's probably because of that. So look at the mark allocation. Let it guard you. 2.6. Find the text Anna at City Zoo, the org. So we're finding the email address. So I'm going to scroll down. Let's see. There's, there's our email address. And create a hyperlink to this email address. We're going to create a hyperlink to this email address. So when you click on it, it'll take you to whatever your email program is. It'll have that in the two parts. I'm going to copy it and we're going to change that to a hyperlink. So I'm going to insert a link. So I'm going to click on link and it's going to ask me, what do we want to do? We want to send it to an email address because it's not a, it's not a file. It's not a place. It's an email address. So the email address, we're just going to put the email address in there. If we wanted to put other stuff in, we could, we could put, for example, a subject and so on, but that's what we want it to be. So it sets it to mail too. If I click OK, and there you can see it's changed to that. Now you can press your, you can press control and then click on it and it'll open up your email program and have that already in the two part of your email. Let's move on to 2.7. Find the picture of the tiger on page three. There's our tiger. It's one of my favorite animals. I love tigers. So let's see what we're going to do to this picture. So already I can see this is probably going to be something. Adopt me. I would love to adopt a tiger. Uh, find the tiger picture and make changes so that it resembles the screenshot below. Now they give us a couple of notes. The picture and the speech bubble must move as one object. So there's definitely a speech bubble with the word adopt me. So we're going to group all of this and do not make any changes to the color of the picture. I don't think this line is a part of the picture. I don't think, I think it's just we add in this speech bubble we add in the text and we must group it make it work as one so we're not going to make any other changes so let's do that so over here we're going to insert a speech bubble insert shape and it's be one of the speech bubbles down here the call out sorry there i think it's just the round call out so we're going to put this little round call out like that and i'm just going to move the pointy thing so that it's pointing towards the target because obviously the targets are set so there we go we've got similar design there and inside i'm going to make it white but i want the inside of it to say the word adopt me so we first of all i don't want a blue one i'm going to right click on this and just we can edit 
or format the shape or you could have clicked on format shape here and change the fill to white so that's also an option and then I'm going to add text I'm going to right click on it and edit the text and I'm going to put the text in adopt me exclamation mark now I don't see the text I've um, got a funny feeling we must make the text dark if I go click on the speech bubble and let's make the text black there I can see the text adopt me and then I can make it a bit bigger so we can see it so there we go it's also at the top so I don't know if there we must change the alignment so there's the alignment of the text and I want it to be at the top maybe that's probably a good idea as I said I'm trying to make it look exactly like like that okay so I've got the speech bubble I've got the text I've got the call out I'm gonna make it move as one object because if I move the tiger it doesn't move the speech bubble so I'm going to click on this image I'm going to click on the speech bubble with a control do you see how the bubbles appear around both of them you could also come here to select select objects and then drag your mouse over the two objects like that so that both are selected both are options I like to press control and click on what I want now do you see bubbles around both I'm going to right click somewhere on the edge particularly and I'm going to group this so that it appears as one object so if click on the image and I'll just move it do you see how the image is moving as one with the adopt me so I think that is what they want for those three marks and then the last question 2.8 find the adoption form oh we're using form controls I'm assuming come down oh there's my adoption form Mr. Long Desi wants to adopt a Siberian Tiger yes please find the adoption form on the last page and format the form controls for edit the form control for the what animal you like to adopt it, to display a blank option on the top of list of options so let's go when you doubt just right click I disagree with this question because I always want a Siberian Tiger but let's right click on it and we're going to go to properties when in doubt right click and here we've got a whole bunch of things you can oh a honey badger I wouldn't mind a honey badger either or a pot belly pig um, so that'll be gorilla and snake and we want a blank option to be at the top so what I'm going to do I don't see anything about blank options so I'm going to add a blank option so I'm press like space and now that's going to be a blank I'm going to add the blank option now the blank option is right at the bottom I'm going to move this all the way to the top oh not too way to the top let's go oh, there we go so now it's got blank and then Siberian so I think that's what they want for a blank option so when I click OK you see there's nothing in it okay then we want to set the properties of the payment to display the amount as currency so the payment I'm going to right click on it and go to properties and we want to display it as currency that's to do with the number format I would assume and let's go check here is there a currency option that looks like currency so I'm assuming that's the one that they want there's no other option let's go so there we go we'll make it as currency so they don't specify anything else I'm happy with that I'm gonna click okay unless they specify a type and they don't mention currency there so I think I'm happy I'm happy with that one so I'm gonna click okay I'm gonna take away the expression I'm gonna take so I'm happy with that so I'm gonna click okay so that's gonna be currency and then set the properties of the cell phone number to automatically display plus two seven before the user inserts a number so that's with the cell phone number let's right click there and go to properties and so they want a plus two seven before the user starts typing the number I'm assuming that's going to be a default text so if I plus plus two seven there so that's always going to be there we can click OK so it's always there and then we can always just add numbers after it I would assume so I think that's what they want so there were four changes we enter the blank and put it at the top change the currency change that I think those are the four marks if I double check yep I think that's all make sure that you save so the key yeah, just a reminder whenever you are working with Word and you're not too sure what your options are normally right click on the thing and look at the options over there and just remember if you would like to adopt a tiger for Mr. Long please do that Mr. Long would love a tiger although if the tiger is a bit aggressive then I might have to change my name to Claude because the tiger would claw me okay anyway let's move on to the next question which is going to be our Excel question and that'll be question three if you can't buy me a tiger then the next best thing is that you subscribe to the channel at Ms. Long IT and Cat subscribe on TikTok at Ms. Long Education and don't forget about the YouTube channel for theory that's at Ms. Long Computer Terms and share the love spread the news with everyone else as well and don't do it the long way do it the Mr. Long